Hello everybody and welcome to Sin City Living. My name is Jason and I'll be bringing you today's video. Just had a few things I wanted to go over real fast. First, our usual shout out of appreciation to all of our patrons out there. We appreciate all those tips and support. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the videos that we put out for you guys exclusively every single week, including the How to Deal Craps instructional set that is ongoing. And uh, if you're curious about it, go ahead and check the description of the video down below. And also I wanted to go over we have uh, we've had a couple of questions about the uh, about this uh, little neon light thing that we've been uh, putting on some of our other uh, some of our other videos. So if anybody's interested in one of these, just shoot us an email at sincitylivinglv at gmail dot com. And uh, so I did another test of our live stream, another attempt to do the live stream. So I now know that I have the right equipment, the right camera the right uh, programming, able to get all of that done. Unfortunately, what I did discover is that my computer was not strong enough, was not powerful enough to be able to encode and upload it as an actual live stream. So I'm going to continue tweaking with that, although it may turn out that I'm just going to have to wait until I can afford to buy a new or more powerful computer for that. Uh, so that will be on the list. Um, so. It does look like live streaming may not be as upcoming as I was hoping. It's going to take a little bit of time to generate that up. And uh, otherwise, please make sure you email us with any uh, questions, strategies, anything you would like us to video. We love shooting these videos for you guys. If not, I'm going to go straight into today's video. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of Crossfire. You're not in the shop. That's okay. Well, scoot your fat ass over. Hey! Hi, you. I resemble that comment. Welcome to this week's episode of Crossfire. <laughs> I'm Jason. I'm Louie. Amy. And we are bringing it to you. And for today, we want to talk about <laughs> what does it, what exactly does Crossfire mean? What's the name of our show? And I'll tell you what I'll tell you what uh, one thing about Crossfire. What one thing that it means is it means you might get yelled at. Crossfire it means you're definitely going to get yelled at. Bad. Well, unless you're crossfiring with the floor. Uh, and even then, if your shift, like Crossfire my shift, is uh -uh. bad. Okay. 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 Crossfire. What crossfire means? Crossfire is when dealers are doing exactly what we're doing right now. Just Bullshitting on a dead game. Yeah. yeah. Or a live game that happens in crowds. Oh yeah. Fairly often. Yeah. Did you see the score on last night's game? Oh. I crossfire all the time. And I yeah. had 20 bucks on that. Anybody know what the score is right now? I've got 10 bucks on the over. Sixes and eights. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm more of a dope man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, you'll hop on it two ways. Oh. 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 Nothing like a good two-teamer. <laughs> Damn. So, that is what crossfire is. Crossfire is when we are talking to each other. Basically, we're firing across the table. Yeah. Um, comes up a lot in craps. You've got three people, sometimes four, if you include the floor on the table. Yeah. And uh, um, we get to talking, especially yeah. if there's not much going on on the game. We have somebody that's just doing a $5 pass line bet, and that's it. We get bored. We start talking amongst ourselves. It's bad. We're not supposed to. We so do. what? The the three of you are just supposed to sit there with your thumbs up your ass the whole time and not talk? Talk to the customers and there's no. some of the casinos. Even if your table's dead. Some of the casinos will actually require the stick to turn, turn around. around. Turn around. Every now so and then. All three dealers <laughs> are facing out towards the customers. Harris Properties. Wow. Uh, some of the station casinos. That's ridiculous. Not for them yet. They want you facing the. The uh, people walking so that you can try and encourage people to come play your game. So we anyway. turn into circus barkers? Pretty much. I do that anyway. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I do that anyways. It's Step a game right dead. up. Just because if I'm, if I'm dealing craps and it's like a slow day and I don't want them to shut my table down because I don't want to go deal uh, anything, you know, else? anything else, I'll start inviting people over. You know, if, Regardless if I'm on stick, base, hey, you know, hey, you want know, to start reeling people in and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Sometimes Throw the imaginary laugh, the lariat. <laughs> It works sometimes, and uh, but more often than not, if it's like the game's dead, and but the other games are pretty busy, and I don't have to look busy or look like I'm trying to bring people over, yeah, I'll, I'll crossfire like. Yeah, we start crossfire, I'll crossfire like crazy. It's gnarly, dude. I like it. it. Uh, I've crossfired in the uh, the high limit room before. Uh, 
Because <laughs> <Can> uh, <laughs> yeah. no, it was it was my my pit was dead. My so my pit consisted of two tables, two blackjack tables, but and they were both like back to back and one floor. So I was standing like this, and you know because the floor is right there, the floor was the buffer to the crossfire. So I got away with that just a little, you know, but didn't do it too much because I didn't want to get in trouble. Uh, yeah, I've seen craps tables, craps crews crossfire between tables. Uh, I've done that. That's uh, that's an easy way to get yelled yeah. at for sure. Yeah. Um, crossfiring while the game is going on. I mean, I've I've I hate to say this, but I've actually when I was on stick, I've actually held a conversation with one of the other dealers while I'm moving the dice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, man, I can't believe LeBron six, hard six. I can't believe LeBron missed that missed that shot last night. <laughs> Anybody else want to make any bets? Hard ways down? Okay, yeah. And then the rest of the game was just ridiculous. I mean, we're literally doing the calls in between. But as long as you can handle your your game and you're not just screwing yourself, I mean. But sometimes the downside, sometimes especially with craps crews, with uh, four people that that work together every single day, is that crossfire starts to go into personal subjects. Mm. During during the live game, yeah, we're no, that's about that's not acceptable. They have or something with their kids or their favorite game, or, yeah, that's yeah. not acceptable. Then, then that gets that that gets uh, we start getting a little bit side eye. Sports talk, fine, whatever. That's something that you can pull your customers into. On the, uh, yeah, on the, uh, <laughs> it's very articulate. Yeah, uh, no, I was gonna it's say very articulate for a young kid. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I've been practicing. <laughs> been practicing my speech. No, but speech uh, these words. I've been learning. I'm up to three syllable words At now. At least. Very swabby into boner. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I was gonna say was, crossfire is it's it's look it's frowned upon. But, but let's be honest, we all Everybody do it. Everybody does it. And the more time you've got in at a place. The more lenient you're gonna, you know, they're gonna be towards you because you know the floors, you know the higher ups, and they know you, you know might what be, you're doing. They usually initiate it. The floor will walk up to you and say, <laughs> and start Did talking. you watch that fucking game last night? Jesus Christ! I, re I remember one time I was, uh, I was on a dead game, me and my crew, and uh, I was, I was uh, having a conversation with the shift manager, and uh, the shift manager went and like took a seat on the box on my table, and I, me and him just had a, had a conversation for an hour. And then we got an early out. <laughs> After, <laughs> so we talked for an hour straight. Me and me and the ship boss just, just got paid. Got paid. And then uh, the GTFO. Then got the heck out of there. Got an early out. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was great. And, and and the funny thing was, there was like four people in the pit boss were looking like, like. But what are they gonna tell him? He's the right. he's the ship manager. He's the <laughs> boss. What are they gonna tell him? You know. So. Excuse me, sir. Um, can you not crossfire with the dealers? Right. right. But it was it was so funny. I I screw with uh, with some of my floor people, and occasionally if I can get him, which was very rare occurrence for me to get the shift boss, because he messes with everybody. Um, I love to get uh, my favorite um, pit. The when he when I'm on the the wheel and he's leaning on the glass. Excuse me, sir. Can you not lean on the glass? And he's <laughs> just walks away. <laughs> the banter that goes on during Crossfire, though, is some of the funniest conversations you will ever have. Oh God, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the the uh, a good crew will will mess with each other. A Mercilessly. Lot. Oh yeah. A lot. The, the the smallest mistake you're gonna hear about it for the next month. At least. Well, yeah, about roughly a month on dice, maybe le maybe even as little as a week, because basically you're gonna hear about it until somebody else screws up. One of my friends at, at mm. work, he uh, managed to, he's incapable of dealing and talking at the same time. Um, and he managed to hit to 37 on blackjack like eight, nine years ago, and I still bring it up. Jesus. 37. Yeah, the other day, one of our dealers, <laughs> uh, um, the uh, the call was, I think, 10, and he started paying a winner six. Oh. And, yeah, we caught that, and we had to fix it, and then after that, it's just, you know, the next call, nine, center field nine, don't pay the sixes. It's not a winner. Just make sure that you are only paying the nine. Mm -hmm. And that, that went on for a good five, ten minutes, and, you know, you'll hear the floors like, oh, I want to hear full stick calls as soon as somebody <laughs> does something silly and then you'll see the dealers trying to remember the full stick calls very few of them can actually remember yeah. an entire stick call 
It's funny. It's it's funny when uh yeah you'll get that stuff. full stick calls please is like you because you've you know, got one bet on the table. Right. At that point you as soon as they start saying full stick calls they say you know somebody messed up. You come back from break or something you tap in on stick full stick calls all right and you're like, like oh, and, somebody and you're like and oh, you, which one of you was it? <laughs> you, look, you look at both other dealers trying to see which one of them is just like <sighs> that's so funny or with a look of panic of like full stick calls. Yeah, that's oh, full, full, full sticker. What is a full stick call again? Uh, yeah. uh, the, I know their words. And the boxes will will crossfire too. It's same thing. They'll be messing with you. When I was when I was new, the one of the supervisors was a, a friend of mine, and uh, he. I remember one time I'm I'm dealing. I've been dealing for like two weeks. I'm dealing, and and uh, he looks at me. I, I made some comment. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over the over the chips. It sounded like there's a Clydesdale dealer next to me. <laughs> you're, you're a funny guy. Okay, I'll, I'll stop banging the chips. Why am I funny? Yeah. <laughs> you know. What's so funny? What the fuck am I so funny? Funny guy? What? what am, I a cl- am I a clown funny to you? Funny how? Do I fucking amuse you? <laughs> Joe Pesci. Oh, I love Joe Pesci. Uh, oh, of course. Then you've also got uh, um, <laughs> Boondock Saints. Tell me a joke, funny man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like the Boondock Saints. You know they're making yeah. Boondock Saints 3. Oh, wow. Starts uh, filming next year. They're sure. about uh, 20 years too late. Am no. I going to watch it? Yes. yes. Of course. Right. Well, but I mean, 2 came we're out. We're going to watch it. What, 10, 12 years it. ago? Everybody got to watch it. three of us. We should watch it. I agree. I'm definitely going to watch it. Well, yeah, you've got, got it tattooed on you. Tattoo. <laughs> Plan on getting he, more. He does. Mm. He's got the prayer on his ribs. Oh. And shepherds, we should be the deep, my lord, the Did you, uh... Uh, what? Never mind. Did you nothing? Uh, did I, <laughs> I, I, I I'm nothing know. better than anybody you've ever met. Aside from me. You ain't nothing, and you ain't ever gonna be nothing. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you guys wondering, <laughs> that is what Crossfire is. Yeah, Crossfire. That, that's <laughs> what, what we that, just did. That's what we're doing right now, yeah. It's just, <laughs> just, just bullshit. shooting the breeze when you're not supposed to. <laughs> I'm just, speaking not of supposed shooting to. the breeze, stay tuned for our next episode. Anybody else got anything? Uh, nah. We will catch you guys next time. Bye. 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 Okay, guys, so as I promised at the end of the videos, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the live stream and how it's going to work. So, the first thing is if you're interested in being one of the players for our craps tournaments, um, which is we're going to have every single week, um, please email us at sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. I need the email addresses so and know want to know who is interested so that we can get it set up and we can select it. I'm going to have the first round is going to be 16 players. There'll be four players per week. The fifth week is going to be the four champions from the previous weeks to get an ultimate champion. I haven't decided yet what the prize will be. Maybe I'll see if I can pick up another one of these lights. And but we'll have some sort of prize for our uh, um, for our champion. Um, so please, if you're interested, email us. I, I want to pick the first eight players, the first two weeks worth of players, so that uh, we'll have the first four ready for the first week, and the other four will be kind of backup, just in case somebody has connection issues or something comes up and they're not able to play that week, then I've got the other players on standby so I can just bump one of them up or maybe shift the first person down or something, something along those lines. Um, the main tournament is going to be Thursdays at 6 o'clock, uh, my time, Las Vegas time, 6 p.m. Las Vegas time. And it's, uh, the way it's going to work is it's going to be a time thing. I'm going to do the live stream for an hour. I'm going to do the game for an hour, rather. And uh, it might work out to about 30 rolls. might work out to about 40 rolls. I'm not too sure. We'll see how it goes. But it's going to be time. It's going to be an hour. Instead of uh, the craps tournaments that they do down on the strip where it's 30 rolls, we're going to do an hour. So I want to make sure I have a finite time limit for this to start with. And then we will go from there. I'm going to find a way, either a... Discord or a Zoom or a private chat room, some way for the players to be logged into something where I can communicate with them on my second computer so that they can tell me what their bets are, what they want to bet, what they want to press when something hits without me having to scroll through the full chat of the live stream itself. I'm not going to be able to keep an eye on that. And if we have enough people watching and chatting, it could be difficult to keep an eye. So I have to figure that part out. Another reason I need the emails so I can communicate back and forth with the potential players. So if you're interested, again, please email me. Um, eventually, just pretty much everybody's going to have an opportunity 
to be in on these things because we're going to do multiple ones. I'm also looking at probably doing a second uh, craps tournament, maybe late Wednesday nights, um, possibly, I'm not sure, where I'm going to do it a little bit different. The second one is going to be instead of one hour and then whoever's got the most chips is the winner. Because those craps tournaments tend to have really weird strategies. They're not normal strategies, strategies that you'd see in normal play because you're competing against other players and you, you just want to make sure you have more chips than them by the end. What I'm going to do with the second tournament is instead of a weekly winner, we're going to play for an hour and then I'll keep track of how much uh, money people still have on their, or how many chips they still have. And then the next week, same players are going to keep going. Basically, this, this game will go until the bankrolls end, until we have one person with money left um, or chips left. Again, there's no money involved in this. So um, once, uh, um, once we have one final winner, so people will drop out as their, as their uh, play money bankrolls expire, as they, as they run, out of, uh, run out of chips. Um, so that one, I'm, I'm guessing, we'll see some more normal strategies, the kind of things people actually play when they're, when they're actually playing craps. And then eventually we're going to add uh, Baccarat, Pi Gao, um, Three Card Poker, um, Blackjack, of course, to, uh, to these tournaments. Whatever we can to these live streams and live stream tournaments. Whatever we can, when we can, as best we can. We're going to have to figure it out as we go. We have a lot of time constraints between me working full time plus a child. Um, but we're going to do the best we can. We're very, very excited to, to uh, have this going. And we also will try and pick a day or time where I can do a patron exclusive tournament or two. We'll see. We'll see how many, uh, how many of our patrons are interested and, uh, and see if we can't get that going as well where it's, where it's only on the patron site. Um, so definitely stay tuned, guys. Please, if you're interested in playing in one of the... Uh, one of the tournaments we're partaking in, in our live streams, aside from just the chat, obviously it's a live stream, please watch, chat with us, let us know how it's going or what you think. And uh, um, otherwise, please, again, email us, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. Otherwise, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Any suggestions, please hit us up. Thank you guys very, very much. We appreciate every single one of you guys, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye now.